Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising weekly tarot and the Normand reading for uh, January 7th to January 13th 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards uh, I want to remind you that that is going to be general reading for Gemini star sign and therefore uh, it's going to resonate in a different level with or in a different way with uh, every single different Gemini's. Uh, for that reason in this video uh, I will uh, do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but at the end uh, you will have to align your personal situation with the reading itself. Uh, now if you want uh, your personal situation to be uh, analyzed just like I'm doing for the examples in this video uh, then that is a subject to a personal reading and uh, for personal readings uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there uh, you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Uh, at the end of uh, this reading I will do a couple of examples just so you can see how it works with the synergy with the synergy and literally that's that. So tarot reading first this is going to be an enhanced tarot spread and these are the four main positions we have the eight of pentacles into the uh, topic of your week the empress card that is the core of the situation the emperor card that is the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last one this is the ten of cups which is uh, the um, guidance that Tarot is offering to you. Now this week is going to be simultaneously a very positive one and, and in the same time I don't want to say disappointing alright well in my language the word is going to be disappointing but let me tell you uh, let me try to, to elaborate on it so uh, it will be a major week of progress but in the same time it will be quite overwhelming progress I mean at a certain point you know you will seriously start worrying can you really keep up with it you know because it's gonna be really fruitful and, and quite well developed but it's kinda like it will require 26 hours a day and uh, the, organi the organization of the whole that, of that grand thing is going to be, oh my god, that could regard either to career or either to relationship, you know, because project is just a general, uh, it's a general word, it could be project into your relationship, enterprise into your relationship or a project into your career. Now the Eight of Pentacles here, which is accompanied with uh, the Five of Cups, it does represent to a... Uh, well, it literally uh, displays one who pick up the, the, uh, their selves together and seriously denies failure. They deny cutting corners and they are determined to do the things right, to do the things uh, in such a way that everything is settled and every single minor detail is attended. And that's you, Gemini. I mean, you will, uh, this week, you are to do an, an exceptional work, either regarding your relationship life or either regarding your career life on an exceptional efforts that can achieve great things. Now what is important here with these cards however is to uh, don't pay much attention into the uh, minor failures that you can experience because these couple of cards uh, very strongly reflect the ups and downs in one's endeavor. You know. Uh, you try something or you approach the situation from one angle it doesn't really work out your way and you approach it from a different angle and again it does not really quite cut it through uh, while you finally find your find the, the correct angle you should approach it where you can have it the way you want it so it's all about that to have your relationship or to have your career the way you want it however you got to put the toils behind it now these couple of cards they are passive cards so which means and it will require a lot of planning it will require a lot of a, a, a lot of passive well not passive work but like slow development a slow work meticulous preparation well-developed 
planning as well a uh, quite thorough gathering of resources before you actually make your move I mean this should not be just a, 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 a random reaction of yours where you hope for the best right everything has to be very well calculated and it is what you are going to do so if you are about to start a new project you have to do your homework if you are about to initiate new custom, customer service if you have a private business again you have to revisit it from every single angle you know if you are about to make something about your relationship like uh, I don't know, a new enterprise for your partner, you have to examine it very well. Is it really suitable? And if it isn't 100% suitable, how you can do it? I mean, you shouldn't be afraid here to spend resources, right? Just to have it the way you want it. Because in this week, you will, you can make the way you, um, what you want to make the way you want to make it. But again, it's going to take time and effort and resources as well. The uh, second card here, which is the Empress card, that is pointing to the core of the situation, that is accompanied with uh, the uh, Knight of Swords, it does point to one's patience. It does point to one, um, I don't know how really to explain it, but let's say uh, 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 where one is prone to first detach oneself from the midst of activity so one can objectively judge the situation and uh, at the end decide uh, in a way that it benefits everyone. If I have to uh, classify this interpretation, I would classify it professionally. So these cards are pointing that regarding your career, I mean you will have a or you will perform a, a quite professional and that will be a hell of a performance I mean everybody is going to accolade you at the end uh, it's important with these cards as a prerequisite that is your foundation and you should not strain for it is that you always be in your comfort zone and you always need to know what you work for so in that reason so for that reason I mean you will have to kind of like negotiate your price in case it's your career and for that matter in case your relationship just to give you an example here uh, you know let's say if you have start dating someone and you uh, here if that's the case here you can kind of really stroke strike the deal of that relationship to have that relationship the way you want it for that reason you should not be prone to compromise this you know you have to know for what you're fighting for and you should be unyielding about what you're fighting for no compromises whatsoever and again no hasty decisions now these cards you have been patient thus far for what these cards are showing you have been quite uh objective you have been quite analytic and you should not allow you know the um how can i place it and the um the prospect of benefits to cloud your judgment and to make you frantic about it these cards here as a prerequisite does point that you um not a long-term goal but kind of like you for I don't know how to systemize it. Well, let's say that you are about to start something productive that will at the end yield the, the, the results of your labor just as they should be, just they have to be. You need to know, however, with the Empress card and especially with the Knight of Swords beneath it, is that either good or bad, those results, those, those results are going to be reaped. So you have to be very accountable for your actions here, either regarding relationship or either regarding career when it comes to performance. Now the next card that we do have, this is going to be the Emperor, which is the challenges which are causing predicaments, and it's with the Queen of Swords. So uh, the, uh, the organization here really is going to suffer a little bit. What these cards are pointing, you know, that you will find it very uh, difficult to fit everything in your schedule and to have it uh, monitorized, I'm sorry if I'm not uh, 
I'm not pronouncing this word correctly, to have, it, uh, to have a monitoring um, or surveillance, if you want to say it that way, or a control upon it, upon everything that is happening around you. That is going to be the main issue throughout the week. And as I said, it's going to be quite overwhelming. You will work upon many aspects of one thing or on multiple things for that matter. Uh, and uh, that will be the result of a careful planning here, you know, uh, not a, a, a frantic decision making, but rather very mature decision making on top of that thoroughly prepared plan and gathered resources and etc etc and the more you add up to it the more difficult you're gonna find it to be uh, to be to be basically fit with your routine to a point where at the end it will require 26 hours a day all right so you will have a lot to work upon uh, that should not scare you. Now, they, well, this is displayed here in the last card, right? But I want to, to, to say a couple of words with these cards here as well. Uh, so, um, these cards are, are pointing a great sense of responsibility, which, again, is going to be a predicament for you. That sense of responsibility, it is something that is going to hold you back throughout this week. So you have so many things on your plate and you feel responsible for all of them. Therefore, you, you cannot see it fair or I don't know the exact English word, but you uh, don't have the, uh, the sense to drop neither of those things that you are working upon, you know, into the waiting room, if I may express myself that way. I, that may force you into a state where you try to mitigate among all of those activities, and while you're trying to make a, a perfection of them, to perform perfectly in all of them, uh, it may render you performing poorly in all of them. So, uh, it will be best here with these cards if you kind of survey uh, all that you have to work on, either career-wise or relationship-wise, all of the enterprises that are on, pl on your platter, and classify them as a, a priorities, you know, the most immediate priorities, those that has to wait, those that has most potential, and etc., etc. So you can put a couple of them, uh, or a few of them, if you want to say that way, into the waiting room, and you can attend to them as soon as those immediate, uh, as those from immediate importance here are kind of sorted out. And at that point, we are going to the Ten of Cups, which is the guidance with the eight of uh, wands and that is kind of like a, a warning and this warning points that those who charge um, kind of ignoring or being ignorant toward warning forward are in fact charging to their personal destruction so whatever you do you really have to take it slow with those cards I mean here we do have you taking a risk or the uh, the danger of you taking risk every risk that you take it is most likely going to be a failure so it is best that you bet on the uh, on this or kind of like you you place your bet on the secure on the secure bet if that makes sense to you yeah it should well literally what these cards are pointing is that you need to play it on uh, on the secure line and even if there is a slim chance that the endeavor or the you know the the enterprise the activity uh, can uh, can be a failure you should not invest into it and uh, you should allow it to develop on itself a little bit further be before until you do have enough information, you know, to make a, a full prediction of how it could, um, of how it could develop. Additionally, these cards are pointing that at that point, with all that you have to work on, or, or all that you have to develop here and improve, you can actually be quite happy. I mean, you can build up for yourself a lot of blessings, and therefore you don't need any additional one for that specific time. Uh, January 7th to January 13th. You don't need any more work. You already have all the work on the world to do and you have to do it well. If you attract more, well, that can jeopardize, you know, the the flawless or kind of like 
the awesome results that you can uh, that you can achieve with already started a under undertakings on your behalf. So uh, this is the general explanation of the cards, and now let's give a, a couple of examples career-wise. These cards here are pointing a really flawless performance upon a task of yours or upon a a, a, a new a, a new given project. Well, that project have been given already to you. It's not something that you're going to receive here, and even if against the uh, if against all odds, I mean you are making you are doing everything you can toward it, and that thing really pays off. I mean, slowly by steady, hard push, hard, uh, hard and slow push, hard and slow push, things are unfolding very well, and you actually are in a position to make money of it. That is thanks, you know, to your patient and to your careful planning displayed here. And above everything else, absence of a frantic decision making. That is very important here. And as well, not to mention that these cards, I mean the Empress, I forgot to do it into the general explanation, but the Empress also may in incorporate a, a creative vision. So you had a creative vision and now you're doing everything you can you know, to incorporate it and that really pays off. It is just the more you develop the project, the more time and responsibility consuming that project or tasks become where you are finding yourself kind of overloaded with it. So, uh, and because you don't want to, to, to look weak or irresponsible in front of the eyes of others, you know, you're trying to do everything on your own or you're trying, you know, to, to give that flawless performance into every single minor detail or every single did project at your career and ultimately you're finding yourself completely incapable to do your best in either of those things so for that reason you have to be kind of objective what or which task of yours can really wait and put it into uh, and put it on hold for now until until you attend and actually develop the most immediate tasks and responsibilities and again the uh, the guidance here points that whatever you do you should not risk anything that you have achieved until this very moment and um, even what you're working upon right now may seem small to you on a smaller scale it is actually something quite big that is the reassurance relationship wise these cards here are pointing that despite poignant experience from the past it is time for you to step to step once again in the world and seek for love especially for those which are singles all right or if you are in a relationship despite poignant experience within the relationship you have to step out and show and an attitude that you can work it out. If it doesn't work out for you, well, you can step out in the world and just treat that relationship, that reading as being single. So stepping out of the world in the world and showing that you are ready to make it work with someone else or with someone that it is interest in you. And that is uh, based on the experience you had from that from that poignant um, event. That you had poignant relationship, you know, uh, or <clears throat> I don't know, being uh, or a broken relationship, and etc., etc. And this time around, you have learned your lesson, you know, and you won't be so naive and you know allowing others to manipulate your decision this time around you will carefully do your decisions and care carefully analyze and examine your potential suitors or the steps for that matter of your partner it is just is going to become way too over overwhelming you know to try to kind of have a control upon every aspect of that thing either uh, these uh, datings these dates that you are to start scheduling or the activities into your relationship and from there you know you you basically have to make a certain compromise where not everything is decided by you but also allow some certain elements of surprises to happen in the relationship because otherwise this especially with the queen of swords that could become just one I don't know, it will look more like a business deal than emotional relationship and uh, Despite that you will find that you cannot have a 100% your way here, right? And you have to leave something to your partner to decide and to, to participate into the relationship. That's why it's equal relationship, you know. You can definitely have the relationship itself the way you want it, which is going to cause a, a very big emotional 
uh, search here, right? Or the advice, the advice is to be grateful for what you have and to not jeopardize it with any risky moves. So that was the um, the tarot reading for you, Gemini's. And now let me shuffle the Lenormand cards. And what the Lenormands are to show us is a uh, event that uh, you should either look forward to or try to avoid. Okay, so the first card that we do have, this is the lilies. And uh, the lilies is associated with uh, family, elders, that this is a bloodline family and also is associated with sex. Sometimes it could be as well interpreted with results of one's labor, you know, a, a good results of, uh, of one's labor. Uh, the next one, this is going to be the fox. The fox is associated with lies, cunning, clever, and as well with work and co-workers in general, a worker. And the last one that is going to be uh, the garden, and the garden is associated with crowded places and as well social gatherings and etc etc et so that could be the way i see it, the first thing that crossed my mind when i saw this card this is a gathering this is a family gathering to resolve a a, a vague dispute a, a matter that is anybody's guess that is due the um do the fox or it could be a, a a random sex offer you know from a a person that you are going to meet on a a social event crowded places or etc etc someone that uh, you just you just know you know you're not just you're not even a, a friends with them and uh, <clears throat> Or it could be some results that you are going to reach with a, a co-worker of yours uh, that you are working upon a, um, it's not a multitasking project, but it's a project that involves a, a bunch of people. Not just you two, a bunch of people, but you both are going to make a, a significant progress and that will be, I think, mostly because of your here, as we do have, mostly because of your performance, but yet you will be helped by that person. So that being said, Gemini's, uh, this was your weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for Gemini star sign. Therefore, um, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread. But uh, you have to align them to your personal situation, just like I did for the examples of that in that video. Now, if you want your situation to be analyzed, just like I did for the examples um, through Tarot, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you will have, a, you will see a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.